In this video, we will go through the Kinsey Planner Monitor Module Setup on the inside display. From the home screen, press Setup, Planning and Seating, press Implement, select your implement from the list, and press Seed Monitor Setup. In this screen, the operator will see planner configuration, sensor configuration, and alarms. To begin, we must first ensure the planner configuration is correct. Press planner configuration, and here we can reset the planner configuration, enter the number of front units and rear units, enter the number of shaft RPM sensors, adjust the seed tube sensitivity, enter the row spacing, check mark if we are utilizing a magnetic pickup sensor, and calibrate that sensor, select the speed source from GPS, auxiliary, and PMM. If GPS speed source is utilized, the PMM looks to display for a GPS ground speed. If auxiliary is utilized, the PMM looks to the display for radar ground speed. And if PMM is selected, the PMM looks for ground speed from the magnetic pickup sensor on the planner. To utilize the PMM, the magnetic pickup needs to be checkmarked and calibrated to get an accurate seed population reading. If we are utilizing a tank pressure sensor, we can check mark and calibrate the sensor. Other sensors that can be monitored include down pressure, oil sensor, SDS sensors, air compressor, tank weight, and edge vac sensors. If utilizing edge vac sensors, then the operator will need to calibrate those sensors as well. Today we'll be utilizing 16 rear units and 15 front units. We will also have two shaft RPM sensors. Our C tube sensitivity is going to be 31 and our row spacing is going to be 15 inches. We will not be utilizing a magnetic pickup sensor and our speed source is going to be set to GPS. I will not be utilizing tank pressure, down pressure, oil sensor, SDS sensors, air compressor, tank weight, or edge vac sensors. Once complete, we can press accept and if a change has been made to the MUX bus settings, then a warning will appear saying configuration changed. This will require a MUX bus detection. Continue. Before pressing accept, the operator will need to disconnect every sensor from the MUX bus. Once all the sensors have been removed from the MUX bus, we can press accept and follow the sensor detection instructions. Today we are connected to a CAN simulator, so our MUX bus detection will go through rather quickly. Press accept. Install MUX bus sensors in the following order. Rear row seed sensors from left to right. Front row seed sensors from left to right. Section transmission sensors from left to right. Ground speed pickup sensor. Auxiliary sensors in the following order. SDS sensors. Edge vac sensors. Pneumatic down pressure. Air compressor pressure. Bulk seed tank pressure. Bulk seed tank weight. Once completed, and the status is OK for all of the sensors, press Accept. And then we can press Accept again. Under the Kinsey Planner Sensor Configuration screen, the operator can remove a sensor, revive a sensor, ignore a sensor, view the sensor, and accept the sensor. Once complete, press Accept. Under Alarms, the operator can change the alarm threshold for each row, an individual section, or the whole planner. The alarm will only sound once the population drops below that numeric threshold value. The operator can also choose to disable or enter a custom alarm threshold percentage. Once complete, press accept. We have now gone through the Kinsey Planner Monitor Module setup in the inside display. For more information on Ag Leader products, please refer to your local Ag Leader dealer, other tutorial videos on the Ag Leader YouTube channel, or the Ag Leader Knowledge Base at support.agleader.com. To find an Ag Leader dealer in your area, please visit our website at www.agleader.com and use the Find a Dealer feature located on the homepage.